This is just incredible scenes. <laughs> Absolutely incredible scenes. So, remember I was telling you yesterday how the Ride With GPS app means that we get updates on the event without this actually sort of being like anywhere, like a physical location. That you get kept up to date with the absolute latest. So, what they've decided to do because of the drastic changes in weather that are forecast today is to change the route from the original, which is 123 kilometers over the Quad Fair down the other side, turn around and come back over the top, and then obviously finish at the top of the Alpia. Um, we're now going to be everyone's going to be doing the compact version, which, if you didn't know, Hort route run like original route and then a compact route. Uh, you know, I don't need to explain what the compact route is, but basically we're only going to the top of the quad affair this morning and turning around, coming back down, uh, descent is neutralised. I'll explain all of that out on the road. And uh, and then we just tackle the final climb up to the Alps. So basically it's two climbs today, uh, so two Strava segment efforts in effect, <laughs> um, which makes me feel a bit gutted really because they've lost... You know, a little bit of form, a little bit of fitness, and if I was anywhere near competitive, I think I'd be, um, I'd be relishing this today. <laughs> Have a good day then. Have a good one, man. Yeah, cheers. Enjoy. See you later. So the time section begins in earnest. Absolutely stunning place to start here. We've got a couple of kilometers of flat before the Quart de Fer. I'll try and catch up with you in regular intervals. Taking this view. Oh my word. That's just another level. So we're a couple of kilometers into the quad affair. I'm feeling okay. Um, I'm glad we're starting early though. It would be hot otherwise. Little tip for you, if you're doing events like this that go up a climb pretty early on, see if you can get away with one bottle or like start with two bottles but drink the first one as soon as possible. So you're carrying less weight, especially if you've got someone like I have today. Or the guys at Alp Cycles, we've got Ben, we got Ben at the top of the climb. Oh, I'm sweating so much. My GoPro's in my back pocket and the, the lens is just soaking wet. We're probably uh, 10k from the summit and I think we're at about 1600 meters. It's 15 degrees, but because like the air is so still, it's really warm. Like. Base layer, probably didn't need it. Uh, in future, I think a lot for extra layers on top rather than underneath. There's a better view this way around. I won't be coming down this way. Oh, it'll be so nice. Not gonna lie, I'm getting a bit of vertigo up here. <laughs> I 
oh wow you can actually see the rest of the climb of the quad affair the last i don't know five six k uh there's a couple of descents so this is the last one before we hit the final section but it's like for those of you who are welsh it's like the bulk of Grois. it like skirts along the side of the cliff <laughs> yeah, otherwise it'll take twice as long. Yeah. What can uh, I get you, Ryan? Uh, bottles here. Do you want two bottles? Yes, I think I'd better have actually. Okay. The advantage for you is it's still dry. <laughs> that is obviously building really fast. Yeah. That was crystal clear 10 minutes ago. Uh, and let me see, the, the front guys are still there. So let me take this opportunity to explain to you what a Hort Route event is. It is basically a multi-day experience on your bike in what is some of the best climbs, scenery, descents as well, that wherever that area has to offer. So they don't just do them in France. Now I'm able to talk to you like this now because the time segment is over. So how the events work is that you have a predetermined section of road that has like basically like a strong segment so you'll have the climb of the quad affair which is about 25k that we've just done and once you get to the top you cross over a timing mat just like you've done at the bottom and you you get your official climb time now you can stop you can chill out you can have a coffee whatever you want to do really at the top of the mountain at 2,000 meters <laughs> and then you can decide when you want to turn around and come down because the descent of the quad affair which is what I'm on now is neutralized so it doesn't come towards your time the last climb back up to the Alp that will be timed so you strip off and you get back into sort of race mode or effort mode hey, hey buddy it is Lantern Rouge, so he rides around with a orange jersey on his back and he will basically encourage people, push people if need be and sweep riders who are maybe sort of on their last legs so he's got probably one of the most important jobs of the whole event out on the road now as an ambassador I somewhat have that job as well so I'm trying to encourage people using my voice rather than my arms because well I'm not very strong on the upper body, you know. It's going very dark. I need to get down that valley as soon as possible, really. Right, we are nearly at the bottom of the quad affair. If I could just describe to you what the sort of weather is right now. It's sort of... It feels cool. It doesn't feel cold. It feels cool. Like, the temperature doesn't really tell you the full story, like 15 degrees. I'll tell you one thing I can tell you about the Quad de Fer is that until you descend it, you really get a sense of the gradient and how, uh, how steep it is in some places. Like this section here, which is near the bottom, is going on for like 10, 11, 12%. And it goes on for a while. Like you can see down there, like if I was riding up there to here, like that's a good like a minute, two minutes and it just keeps going. So, you know, don't be afraid to put small gears on. All right, people, 20 here to go. We've just passed the climb. I think that the Criterium de Dauphiné did a couple of weeks back uh, up to Vaugenay, I think, or Vaugenay, excuse my French. So we've just got one small climb to deal with now. 
the balcony road the balcony road to the top of Altuez it pops out a couple of hairpins from the top and uh, I'm looking forward to this one because this is when we came down early on and there's a little bit of respite I tell you one thing that's making a big difference doesn't matter if you've got a Wahoo or a Garmin but the 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 actual gradient colors on your bike commuter can really help you pace the final 4k <sighs> moody up the head Ah! Oh. I went the wrong way there. How are you feeling? You're not um, wearing your ring here, so. Well, there's no point because it, it only started raining in the last 5k yeah. on the balcony road. Yeah. Um, but it's like, it's amazing, like the scenery. Well, we got to see it twice, but. Oh, uh, it's. Uh, 92 kilometers average speed 24.5 not a not a massive max speed but i mean there was no need to take risks on the descent average power 194 normalized to 71 and heart rate 2800 meters heart rate 146 and 178 but like i was we haven't had massive temperatures today. You can hear the thunder. I know, I know it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Our camera's fine. It's, it's not raining that much. Um, says the guy from Wales. <laughs> yeah, the effort, it was so like, lots, lots of people can relate to this, but the elevation probably emphasizes it as well. Um, but like my, given my lack of like intensity and training in the last couple of weeks, um, my power for my for my heart rate is like completely out of whack so like i'm doing like today i know it's my first effort i did decide to give it like a good effort because because of the rain i didn't want to sort of hang around and get cold when you start riding on long climbs especially when you get the elevation and the heat you've got to pay more attention to your heart rate than your power um well, at least that's what I do because your heart rate is actually it, it governs your output really at the end because you know if that sort of gets out of control then you that's what affects your breathing at the end of the day so that was good fun though